Hello. <laughs> the great Trevor Barry. Nice to meet you. What an absolute honor. Oh, well. Absolute honor. Mine Caroline. too. Mine too. So, welcome to JPL. How do you feel surrounded by all this? All these things you you spend a lot of time looking through your telescope at. Yes. Yeah, well, I was Cassini. Is there anything else? Uh, uh, well, I don't think well, so. No, I, I tend <laughs> to agree with you're you. You're talking to the wrong I person. Mean, I support Juno, but Saturn's my thing. Yes, yeah, Saturn no, is everybody's Saturn's everybody's thing. thing. How is it sitting beside someone like Caroline? What an honour! Hey, <laughs> what an honour! A kindred spirit. Yes, amazing, absolutely amazing, to think that. You know, stuff that I do in my little homemade observatory with my homemade telescope can actually you know, makes, make a difference, make a contribution. What is it about Saturn? Is it because it's visually stunning? Looks so alien and mysterious and the rings look like they're supernatural. You know, they could be created by an extraterrestrial civilization. So it's not, you're not looking at your garden variety planet you're, or, or a celestial object. You're looking at something that looks almost like it shouldn't be there. And for people who monitor it, like Trevor, and watch it nightly, monthly, from year to year, it changes its aspect. Where does somebody like Trevor fit in in this exploration? Well, first of all, Trevor uh, is doing what we had to do before there were spacecraft and uh, having the opportunity to talk to Trevor about um, how he got started in astronomy and what he's done in building his Broken Hill Observatory just has reminded me how much work and how much effort it is to, you know, be a, a sort of like an amateur astronomer, although he's so professional, I don't know if that term applies, but and the passion. Well, it requires passion, okay, definitely, and, and commitment, but it's hard work. It's even physically uncomfortable work. You have to stay up late at night, you know, freezing. He's explained to me he stayed up three nights, you know, in a row, uh, gathering data and downloading his data during the day. And I thought, my God, that's just like a, that, you know, a planetary flyby where you don't sleep for days, you know? But he's not doing it in the comfort of his office, sitting in front of a computer terminal like we all did. He's out there, you know, you know, in the elements. So it's really, uh, you know, a, a labor of love. I need to know what's going on in your heart right now. What do you feel? Euphoric. <laughs> that was emphatic. <laughs> Hello, I'm Liz Hayes. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.